A Fayette County family known for their huge Christmas light display and for their holiday donation to a children's charity was hit by thieves. Yeah. But now they're calling it a blessing of sorts, saying their free lights display is drawing in more people than ever. The family tells us they're hoping those large crowds will mean more donations for children in need. Fox 5's Doug Evans is in Fayette County with their story. The magic behind the Gaddy family Christmas light display has nothing to do with computers, not apps. No, the what that provides the wow is so simple, so old fashioned, much like Christmas itself. It's big because, well, presents should be. The lights glow warmly here, and if it moves, it's likely powered by old car parts that Mike Gaddy has salvaged somewhere. He is old school, bare bones. He, he just, he's not going to throw anything away that might be salvageable, as you can see. <laughs> and that's the magic behind it. Well, you know what? It, it is, it's, it's a great feeling to know that I can pretty much count on him to fix anything. Mike and Gwen Gaddy start in August, and it will take until almost March to tear it all down. On some nights, nearly a thousand cars will drive through their Fayette County farm. And as it has been for 28 years, it's free. But they'd appreciate a donation to Toys for Tots or the March of Dimes. They've raised $36,000 in three years for the March of Dimes in the name of their grandson, Brady, who died after a premature birth. Brady has been a big part of our lives even though he's not here with us. Yes, he's changed our lives forever. The Gaddies made nationwide headlines when a thief stole their March of Dimes donations from a bucket. There is more security now, but actually the theft turned into a blessing, really. I think that put such an awareness for the people around here of what we were trying to do. They've just... And they responded. They did, in, a, in such a big way, such a big way.